Hello, my name is Steve Buser, Professor Emeritus of Finance at the Fisher College of Business at The Ohio State University. For many years I taught a course in macroeconomics and friends in the Fisher College asked if I would offer some thoughts on the current state of the U.S. economy. I agreed and would like to begin by observing that on December 1st of this year, the National Bureau of Economic Research, or NBR for short, officially declared that the recession had begun in the United States and indeed dated back to December of 2007. So we're one year and counting into the current recession. The formal declaration by the National Bureau of Economic Research is interesting for a number of reasons. Uh, one of which is that many people had already presumed that not only we were in a recession, but it was a deep recession, perhaps as severe as anything the U.S. had experienced since the Great Depression. So for those people, they were wondering, well, how could any review body have taken so long to determine what virtually everybody already understood? Uh, to further complicate that issue, a common definition of a recession is two consecutive quarters where real GDP declines. Real GDP refers to gross domestic production or all the goods and services that are produced in the United States. So typically we think that that have to decline for two quarters in a row and by that definition the United States is still not in a recession. Indeed there was a decline in GDP uh, in the fourth quarter of 2007 However, the first quarter and the second quarter, both the economy grew both those two quarters. Um, GDP declined slightly in the third quarter, and most economists are expecting a significant decline in the fourth quarter, but that quarter's not even over yet, and we won't have the final results for several months. So there's a debate over whether or not we're in a recession, and if we are in a recession, how severe it is. And if that's the case, then why are people talking about this possibly being the worst recession that the U.S. has ever experienced since uh, the Great Depression? Uh, well, I can't pretend to speak for all people who've weighed in on that topic, um, but I can say that probably what people are thinking of when they say that is that the risks and problems that we are facing are as severe as anything since the Great Depression, despite the fact that at least until now, those problems have not resulted into economic problems that are nearly as severe as the ones we faced, for example, in the early 1980s, when unemployment got above 10%. Currently, unemployment is rising rapidly, but still is less than 7%. So we have a ways to go before we're really uh, in the very serious stages of recession. Nevertheless, the problems exist and are real, uh, and we need to discuss those. And so that will be the topic of the second session for today.